<laughs> Follow me to Apex, my friends. Reaper Hunter 23 here, welcoming you to another Let's Play. This time it's going to be Max Payne. For the past several years, I've had like a vague interest in these games, but never really got around to playing them. So I figured, what the heck, why not? I'm good at blind running and stumbling through things I have a vague interest in. It, well, good is a good is debatable, but um, it's something that I do <laughs> on this channel a lot. Anyway. Man, memory cards, what a time. <laughs> Remember when like the PS2 cases used to have like little memory card holders built into the top of them when you opened them? Fugitive, uh, wow, okay. They just get exponentially harder. Present day. Oh yeah. Acer Plaza. They were all dead. The final gunshot was an exclamation mark to everything that had led to this point. I released my finger from the trigger. And then it was over. Oh, look at the smirk on his face. Wow. To make any kind of sense of it, I need to go back three years. Back to the night the pain started. Part 1, The American Dream. Interesting. I was still on the force back then. NYPD, Manhattan, Midtown North Precinct, Hell's Kitchen. So when are you coming to work for me, Detective Payne? You'd make me work undercover in some hell hole. Sorry, Alex. Michelle and the baby come first. See? My last smoke. It's bad for the baby. That's you, Max. A regular Boy Scout. See you, Alex. We're still on for poker Thursday night, right? Like taking candy from a baby. Life was good. The sun setting on a sweet summer's day. The smell of freshly mowed lawns. The sounds of children playing. A house across the river on the Jersey side. A beautiful wife and a baby girl. The American dream come true. Honey, I'm home. But dreams have a nasty habit of going bad when you're not looking. The sun went down with practice bravado. Twilight crawled across the sky, laden with foreboding. Michelle, honey, anybody home? I didn't like the way the show started. They'd give me the best seat in the house, front row center. Okay, I like the way that Max here talks.
What the hell? Oh, that looks weird. No, that was the bullet time. Oops. Maybe I should maybe I should uh look at the controls real quick. Well, since I, you know, was sensible enough to check out the option. Alright, that's why I'm paying for that. Shoot Oh, I absolutely don't want this. The controls are inverted. Did I do that by mistake? Oh god. No. Oh. Alright, now maybe we can let this yeah, happen. All right, where's the phone? Is it up here? Why would you keep your phone up here? Oh, no. Okay, so I can't. I'm gonna hurt you! It's coming. I'm gonna hurt Freeze. you! Freeze! NYPD, it's drop! It's gonna I'm gonna hurt you! I'm gonna hurt you! I'm gonna hurt you! Oh, this is easy. No. No, no, please, God, no. Oh, jeez. The flesh of fallen angels! You gotta die! Oh! No, 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 God, no, please, Michelle. Oh, baby. No! That was three years ago. Everything ripped apart in a New York minute. Oh, man. The killer junkies had been high on a previously unknown designer drug, Valkyr, V. After the funeral, I told Alex I'd be transferring to the DEA. That was intense. It took us three long years to get a break in the Valkyr case. Then, finally, two months ago, a dime dropper tipped us off that Jack Lupino, a mob boss in the Punchinello crime family, was trafficking. I went undercover, infiltrated the worst mafia family in New York. I came in from the cold and the dark. Outside the city was a cruel monster. I've been slowly working my way from the small time to the big fish, trying to get to the source of the drug. Alex and BB were my only contacts in the DEA. The only ones in this decrepit city who knew I was down here. BB here. Something urgent has come up with Jack Lupino. You need to meet with Alex immediately at the Roscoe Street station. I hadn't had a face to face with Alex since I'd gone undercover. Outside, the mercury was falling fast. It was colder than the devil's heart, raining ice pitchforks as if the heavens were ready to fall. Everyone was running for shelter like there was no tomorrow. It didn't get any better when I got to the subway. The feeling hit me like a point-blank shot straight in the face. 
Something was not right about this. My beretta stirred nervously under my coat, but the train doors had already shut behind me, and I was in for the ride. Next stop, Roscoe Street Station, and Alex. The station was drenched in gloom. Alex was a ghost, nowhere to be seen. I'd have to look for him. Oh, wow. Okay. Death was in the air at Roscoe Street. I'd have to find Alex fast. I'm gonna go look around. Wasn't Jake supposed to take care of this? Hey! Oh. I just wanted to explore, dude. That's an interesting way to display the health bar. Pills would hold the pain back for a while. You gotta take the painkillers so that the people we're fighting don't become painkillers. Yeah, yo. Ah. Ah. Actually try to do that like practically. Yo guys, yo guys, hey, we're getting around. Hey yeah. Oh. Fill the bullet time, so what the hell? Whoops. Press R2 instead of R1. Ooh, a shotgun. So much for being subtle. <laughs> They had ended up in the middle of a big time crime operation. Kiss it good. No, no. Oh. Gotcha. Hey. You saved me, man. What's going on here? A massacre. These armed thugs just appeared from nowhere. We need to get help. I can make the call from the control room one floor up. Can you take me there? Sure. Sounds good. Follow me. We gotta get moving, please! Of course there's gonna be people, you know. Or wait, okay. The dude wasn't following me, I wasn't sure if uh, I had myself turned around. Home free, this way. What's up? 
Where'd that guy go? He just was hanging out behind the door and killed. Oh. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, I'm about to die. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> like a Christmas tree. Power was back on. Is it, yeah. Is that a cabinet? Or a broken mirror. You can't break surveillance things. One way or the other. The rusty door led to an abandoned part of the station, closed off since the early 40s. Something big was going down at Roscoe Street. Maybe that's why Alex had wanted to meet me here. Maybe not. One way or the other, I was going to find out. Okay, can't break the boxes. Did you hear something? Nah, take it easy. I guess you can only have credit for shooting one of them at a time. No, like, double whammy.
like Lapino. Now that's spooky. Jack Lapino, yeah, spooky. But all <laughs> right in the knees. <laughs> I'm gonna have so much handgun ammo when I finally run out of shotgun shells. <laughs> <laughs> 